Good morning and welcome to our children's reenactment of the Battle of Lexington. We will be showing some musket drill videos from the Lexington Minutemen, courtesy of one of their members who represents Caleb Harrington. Um, and we will be showing photos from the 2016 through 2019 events. We started this program in 2016 with one children's reenactment and it was immediately popular. Everyone was very excited about the idea of doing a children's um, drilling and training and reenacting the battle. Uh, the battle actually, the reenactment actually takes place on the Lexington Battle Green. The town gave us permission for that. So it's a wonderful experience for the kids. Um, and we are very lucky to have the help of the Lexington Minutemen and the 10th Regiment of Foot uh, to train the children and prepare them for their roles as reenactors. It's very interesting to see uh, how people react to being chosen as a British soldier or a militia soldier. That's certainly a uh, topic of contention for some people, though we have had a lot of people who are very, a lot of kids who are very excited to be British soldiers. Um, I think it's because the uniforms are cooler, they look better. Uh, but we've also had, you know, English tourists, English visitors who are excited to be uh, British troops as well. So without further ado, we will get started on our children's reenactment simulation, so to speak. Thank you all for joining us today. Defend your home or squash a rebellion. The choice is yours. Lexington Historical Society, the Lexington Minutemen, and His Majesty's 10th Regiment of Foot welcome all willing participants for a reenactment of the Battle of Lexington. Participants will be trained on proper and safe use of a musket prior to reenacting the Battle of Lexington. Are you ready? Good day to you. I'm Caleb Harrington, member of the Lexington Militia. I've heard that you've come to join our ranks this morning. But first, you'll need to know how to use this flintlock musket fires a bullet, three quarters of an inch in diameter, and an ounce in weight. It operates on the principle of the flintlock mechanism, whereby this piece of rock will hit this piece of metal, creating a spark when the trigger is pulled. That spark will send a flash, will send sparks into the pan, which will ignite gunpowder, firing the weapon. The first position you'll need to know is shoulder arms. Bring the musket up to your shoulders so that it's straight up and down, so that you don't hit the person to your left or to your right. From there, you'll bring the musket up in front of your face, like so. This is called poise, arms. From here, you'll swing this part of the musket, called the trigger guard, out in front of your body and bring the weapon down while bringing your right leg to a 45 degree angle with your left foot. This is called rest arms. From there, you will bring your weapon over to the right side of your body. Taking your right hand, bringing it as high up as you can on the weapon, and then bringing the entire weapon down by your right foot while bringing your right foot in line with your left foot. This is order. From order, you can take your right hand, bring it down as far as you can on your musket, swing the musket across your body, back up the shoulder. To fire the musket, the first thing you must do is come to the position to prepare to prime and load. By bringing the musket down across your body, flipping open the steel, expose the pan. We'll then handle your cartridge, pulling it out of your cartridge box, sticking it in your mouth, <coughs> biting off the top, spitting it out. From there, we'll pour a small charge of gunpowder into the pan of the musket, and then close the steel. Make sure the gunpowder stays there. We'll then flip your musket around. Pour powder and ball to the barrel. Throw the excess material on the ground. Pull out your ramrod. Then use this rod 
One firm motion. Seat the bullet. Return your ramrod so that you can use it again for the next shot. You'll then bring your musket back to the shoulder arms position. After that, you'll bring it to the poise arms position we learned earlier. Pulling back the hammer, one more click, so that it is no longer safe and the weapon is ready to fire. On the command present, bring the weapon down, and take it, and on the command fire, we'll squeeze the trigger and fire. These fires are quite common. Do not be alarmed if they occur. I've now told you what you need to know to be successful on the green this morning. Go forth, and may God be with you. So now that you have learned the proper way to handle the musket, um, you could join the reenactors, the children reenactors and adult reenactors on the battle green. These are photographs from our first year, 2016. As you can see from the top left photograph, we had a great crowd um, of very excited and eager children. Um, we did a wonderful uh, reenactment experience. And that year we just had one uh, reenactment, but we had a wait list for the program that was as long as the first time we did it. Um, so we were very excited and the following year in 2017, we offered two sessions. Uh, so we were able to do two sessions, about 20 to 30 kids per session. <clears throat> so I believe by the end of the day, um, we had seen about 60 to possibly 80 uh, kids do this program which is really wonderful. As you all know, it's Massachusetts School Vacation Week most years. Um, so it was wonderful having the kids be able to have this experience um, after some of them had been there Monday morning uh, and seen the reenactors perform the reenactment on the green um, at 5.30 in the morning. So this is 2017. 2018, we had another great crowd, uh, better photographs as well. Um, but you can see really the kids are very happy and engaged. Um, it's amazing seeing them learn the drills um, because they really, for about a half an hour to an hour, spend time with an individual reenactor or two uh, with it, either a member of His Majesty's 10th Regiment of Foot or a member of the Lexington Minutemen. Um, as I said before, and we'll say again, who are generous enough to share their time with us after being up most of the weekend usually. Most of them do not go to sleep much between Saturday morning and Monday evening. Um, but they are very generous and they have been willing to help us with this. And for that, we're very grateful. Uh, that was 2018. And then last year's performance, we did a slideshow photos. Twenty, of course, as we all know, is a whole different animal. Um, we are crossing our fingers and thinking ahead to the 2021 children's reenactment. Um, our programs, or excuse me, our education and interpretation manager, Chris Kaufman, is responsible for registration for that program. As a special treat today, we've decided to open up registration for the 2021 children's reenactment. Uh, to anyone who is watching today, would like to get in touch with Chris. Um, if you are interested, I would definitely advise doing it now after not doing it this year um, and after some of the interest in all the virtual programming we've been able to do, I anticipate next year's event will be probably very full. Um, so if you'd like to participate, please register uh, by emailing Chris Kaufman at the email address below. And if you have children who are interested in Revolutionary War history or our historic houses or anything like that, uh, we have a newly created digital learning page on our website. Uh, the URL is right there. And you can join us um, by going to the website. And we have a scavenger hunt of uh, both in person, um, which re require proper social distancing as a reminder, 
um, but going around the green and looking at the exterior of Hancock Clark House and uh, Buckman Tavern, and also looking at the old burying ground. I imagine this week would be a good time to try those activities since it's quieted down a bit since Monday. Um, we also have sca virtual scavenger hunts of Buckman Tavern, of our virtual tour of Buckman Tavern, and our programs manager, Sarah, is hard at work on virtual scavenger hunts for our virtual tours of Hancock Clark House and Monroe Tavern. That being said, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, this was not a very long program, but hopefully you enjoyed um, the photographs and the videos. Our gratitude to the Minutemen for producing that video for us. Um, this recording will be available on our Facebook page and on our website after the recording ends. If you have any questions, uh, please email Chris Kaufman about registration or my name is Stacy Fraser. I'm the Collections and Outreach Manager and you can email me at sfraser at lexingtonhistory.org. Thank you all very much for joining us today and hope you have a wonderful day.